G'day Roosters, let's have a look at internal origin point in Autodesk Revit and its associated other two survey and project points to a lesser degree and some traps that can affect your projects if you don't have it set right at the beginning. So let's look at this project. If you go VG, visibility graphics, go down to site and you've got three things internal origin point project base point and survey point now let's just look at internal origin turn that on uh, I don't think I'll be able to see that because I've got a cropped view I just don't crop the view so we can see beyond the crop and it should appear relatively close to the project so yes here's our internal origin point here not too far away from our project which is good unfortunately with this project I modeled it and I didn't realize that my internal project point was down here I thought I'd put it up I'd start it up there but unfortunately that was where my project point needed to be of course if I go to mod VG model categories and go back down to site if I turn on the project base point that is uh, in the correct place, which is there, which is zero zero comma uh, zero. So if I export this view on the shared coordinates, those that DWG file will be zero zero there, which is what was intended to happen. Now that wasn't such a great thing uh, because really it would be better if I had that internal origin and that project base point at the same point, and I'll show you why. So first we'll export this file and just that view and we'll call that one uh, sample one floor view now that view is also on a sheet so I'll export that sheet too and we shall have a look at what happens there what was that one footing so let's get the footing plan now, while I'm exporting this sheet, it's important to note that I've got this exported as the shared coordinates. Uh, so if I just go into the setup there, I've got a preset one and units and coordinates. That's the shared coordinates. So it's exporting it by the um, project coordinates. Now with sheets though, sheets only export from the internal origin point, not from the project point. Now that can be a bit of a pain. Um, now I'll call that one floor sheet, sample one floor sheet. And let's just demonstrate that in real world. So we'll open those two views, so the view and the sheet. Now fortunately for this project, we only shared the views as a DWG for coordination, which was fine. It was a bigger view and it was easy to use. They don't need the title block as well. So I'm in that view there. There's no title block in this one, as you can see paper space is just a view it's blank uh, now if I go line 0 comma 0 it's at the correct point which is excellent now if I go to the sheet view export whoa getting that a bit in the new uh, AutoCAD 22 I do like that detachable view it is awesome but sometimes you drag it out when you don't want to um, so yeah I've got the title block in here that's awesome and then here is that cropped view now often on projects too you'll have a big floor plate and you'll have multiple views of the same level on multiple sheets now the thing is with sheets it only exports it from the internal coordinate so I did line 0 0 there and you can see it's down in this left hand corner off to the side like that so if I go to the um, view you can see yeah that that's that's what's going on so it's not it's not exporting it how I would have liked to it. I would like the sheets and the views to be exported from the same coordinate system. Now, a couple other things to note while we're on internal origin point is that the location of the internal origin never moves. If you've been fluffing around with this relocate project, that doesn't move it to the internal origin. It just moves it relative to the project base point you actually physically have to move the model, select everything and move it if you need to do it. And I've done it twice in my career, it's not great. The first time I had to move it and rotate it and it broke the model, it took me three days to fix it. Second time I had to do it, I just had to move the model and move 
the objects in the views over by a set amount and it wasn't too bad it took me about three hours to fix it now yeah so sometimes because you do project after project you forget but it's probably better especially for structural jobs to have the internal origin and the project base point at the same point ideally that should have been up there now the other couple other things to note so that never moves is that if the model geometry is made more than 16 kilometers away from the internal origin point you can have performance issues with your computer you can break your computer uh, so while we're on that topic on points you've you've got your project based point so you can move that around but it only exports from the views not from the sheets the survey point which I didn't use in this project because I only needed the project based point that can be the real world and you can put that to where the survey coordinates are if you've got some map grid you're working to or some survey zone. So um, let's go to one where I've set it up pro properly. Uh, so this project here, this is a much better way to set it up. I've got, you can see the project base point and the internal origin at exactly the same point. Now when I do an export of sheets there, I'll export um, some sheets now what I'll do is I'll go I'll just go um, I'll check none I'll do all views and sheets in the model so I want to do 08 level 4 08 level 4 just get 08 level 4 and I want the overall plan I haven't broken, this is a big floor plate, this one. I haven't done this yet, but this will probably be five or six, one to a hundred on a title block. Now, when I export those sheets, all of those views will have the same coordinate points. So you could stitch them together if you wanted to. Now, I'll just get that view. I've got an overall one, though, that we're working with with the coordination. So this is still in the infancy, this project, um, as far as setup goes. Um, so, yeah, there's the level four. I'll go next on that. So I'll just check that my origins are coming. Okay, so I've set that to internal origin. Shared origin, internal origin is the same in this case because I've got both the project base point and the internal origin at the same point. So I can just leave that internal origin because it doesn't matter. Um, export views. Now, I don't want to have... Export views on sheets and links as rep. No, I don't want that. So I'll just call it, um, I don't know, I'll just put X and see what happens as that exports that out. And printing. Huh. It's interesting. And I'm exporting a DWG. I guess that's sort of true. That's, while that's doing that, um, you can see a visualization here of this. There's the you know, boundary, and that's saying that's a survey, and that's saying that's the project, but, I mean, that project's way too small to even consider that as, who cares. Um, so let's open that up, those views that I exported. So there's a sheet, and there's the view from the model. So now I'm in... Yeah, so that one's using that. I'll just delete these things, you don't need that. So this is the sheet. One, and if I go line from zero comma zero, it's at the correct point on the sheet this time. And if I export the view, it's at the correct point too. So that's my pro tips on internal origin point and project based point. My suggestion, especially for structural, but even architectural and other disciplines, set up a project, pay attention to the internal origin point and the project based point. The internal origin point is at the project based point straight away. Uh, and that you've got, um, make sure your project north and true north are set up too, that you don't have something on an angle there.